We're gonna go over to cage three. Seven, uh, six, this is oh. a ten Five. bot. Oh <laughs> boy! Three, two, oh, wow! One. This is this is ridiculousness. This is what we live for here while we're waiting for the actual fight to happen. Oh no! <laughs> wow. Now, Kyle, you know, uh, one of the difficult things here is to, you know, pick out pick out one robot and kind of follow it. For me, that's going to be Remy de Guzman and Wicked Wedge running this massive googly eye right in the middle of the box. I love it. I think that that is what you need to do in this fight. Be noticed with your giant googly oh, eye. No! And there goes the googly eye. Now we will never see Wicked Wedge again. They're still going to fight. We just won't <laughs> notice them. Should have used uh, Gorilla Glue. Wow! Oh. Huge hit from Diamondback. And I see a wheel. It's rolling in front of the uh, <laughs> wheels all over the, box. the place. We see a clear plastic wheel. I think that's from an <laughs> RC car. Who's still alive? We've got uh, Smee. Yep, still alive. Wicked Wedge still doing what they do. We've got Wicked Wedge still alive. It looks like a drift. Smee has has speared a drift. There's a little bit of it. Looks like Captain Generic still doing what it does. Captain Generic coming around. Wow. A little bit of movement from uh, from Jack Jack Rabbit. That is Jack Rabbit. Yeah, it's incredible to see the uh, the reliability of these robots when they just give them a little bit of space, Kyle. Yeah, this is it's fun to see these bots with a lot of room to move in. You know, this box is basically twice the size of the small boxes. Eight by eight versus sixteen by sixteen. We've got eighty seconds left in this uh, this rumble. And wow, most of these robots are still running. That's incredible. Yeah. Wow, we might have to call for uh, Encore. Encore. Kyle. The first of the day, right? <laughs> that was like the... One uh, minute the, left. That was impressive. That was like the, uh, the, the, the bowling ball coming into the pins there. I don't know. What do you say? Should we call for an Encore? I, I'm, I'm having fun still. Are you? Encore! All right, let's ask the audience, should we have an encore audience? Yes. All right. Yes! Control, let's do an encore here. Let's add 30 seconds to the clock. Encore. Yeah! Encore. All right! Encore happening. Smee corralling two bots into the corner. Oh! Oh, a drift did not like that. Said no thank you. It is incredible to see a drift, like, running for now three and a half minutes. Yeah, actually, you're right. Very impressive on there, and they're doing a great job. Wicked Wedge still happily functioning, still taking bots down. And now, there goes the weapon on a drift. It seems to be not functioning. And there's a little bit of movement from Smee. One Just of my favorite bit. things about combat robots is that for a three-minute fight, they uh, give it three minutes and uh, one second worth of battery. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's what makes these encores both fun and dangerous. And also, you know, one of the more controversial rules Ten, here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, five four, four, three, two, one. That's the match. Incredible. And look at Remy, just uh, ready to go. Happily wedging about. That, that's impressive. Good job, Remy. Amazing. As far as that demolition derby goes, you did very well. So I'd say the, uh, the unofficial winner of that match, Wicked Wedge. All right, we are uh, back over to loser's bracket round eight action. This is Overdefined versus Eruption. We saw Overdefined defeat Sepiol, and um, if they are able to defeat Eruption, I think they go on to fight Judge's Dream. And they qualify, I believe. Wow. Right. Wow, so a lot the stakes of are high for this. on the line, yeah. All right, Eight, so these bots are in seven, position. We are starting six, the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. Oh, 
good pop oh. in the air from Eruption. Eruption has already managed to tear off one of those plastic forks on the two front of, them. of Overdefined. Two forks down. Two forks down. Oof. Oh, they've just got their side forks now. Yeah, and that weapon is already down on Overdefined. Don't worry, Eruption's got enough weapon for the two of you. Now, Eruption is a hub motor, and uh, now without a weapon, oh, oh, Overdefined. Very likely that Eruption's going to run for another three minutes here. Yeah, and just consistently dishing out big hits all day. Eruption, even in the matches that it, that it has lost, it has been just doing the work, doing the damage, taking it down. The wow, big difference that between this match and uh, the last one with Sepiol is that uh, Eruption's weapon is fully operational. And it will not be as easy to pin Eruption because of it. No, not at all. Eruption stalking its prey, not giving them a moment's respite. They do not want to get corralled into a corner. They want to be the aggressors this whole time. So if this does go to the judges, then they get all of those control and damage points. Oh, there we go. Nice corral. They got a they got a lot of ground to make up. They do. Yeah, Overdefined has got a lot of ground to make up if they're going to. Eruption getting themselves out of that corral situation and going right back on the attack. Super aggressive. Look at wow. that nice hit. End over end. That's right. We got a celebratory chance from the driver already. They're getting into it. That's what you want to see. One minute, 14 seconds left in this match. Boom. Oof. Eruption doing the work. Taking the big hit to the chunks corner. out of the wheels there, yeah. Oh! That hit just felt hard. Lot to be said for the reliability of Overdefined here. They are taking these hits and still working pretty well. Oh! Could this be going to the judges with 30 seconds left? If it does, that is a huge testament to the build on Overdefined. That, this is really impressive that they're still functioning after this onslaught. There are bits of wheels from Overdefined that are just being kicked around inside of the box. Yeah, this is uh, shades of Rocky Balboa just going the distance in this match. Not winning Seven, a single round, six, but going the distance. Five, four, three, two, one. That's the match. Wow. Round of applause. Yeah, the, that was some good work by both of these teams. That's going to go to the judges. Eruption's weapon went the full three minutes and just dealt out a huge amount of damage. I think this is going to be pretty easy to call. But uh, let's go first with Anju. Your thoughts on this fight. Overdefined versus Eruption. Yeah, it was pretty dominant by Eruption. Um, they lost, or uh, Overdefined lost their weapon pretty early on and Eruption kind of just bounced them off the you know, ceiling and floor a few times and there were a few good pins by Overdefined, but it wasn't enough and I'd go Eruption on this one. All right, we've got one vote for Eruption. Don, your thoughts? Uh, that was an Eruption of a fight. There you go. We've got two votes for Eruption. Jack, is this going to be a unanimous judge's decision? It is. It feels like Overdefined spent more time in the air than on the ground for the last minute or so. All right, we've got a unanimous judge's awesome. decision for Eruption, which advances. I'm gonna go see if I could try to grab some people on the way out. Great. Maybe ask some questions. Awesome. Yeah, what do you think? Perfect. That would be awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Chris.